Hello everyone, Sudip here and welcome back to my new video. Today in this video, I will show you how to create softwares in minutes using AI without writing single line of command, even if you have zero coding knowledge. So let's get started. Today I will show you how to create two applications. First, uh, we will build a simple to-do list software. After that, we will also build a simple interactive game and I will post the link for these uh, applications in the video description so you can check it out yourself as well. So stay tuned to unlock the power of AI in creating any software you can imagine. I will use a chat GPT in today's app creation, but you can use any other chatbot like DeepSeek, Google Gemini or other chatbot. Uh, the key thing to turn your imagination to perfect outcome is the way you type your uh, prompt in the chatbot. I suggest being as uh, specific as possible. Uh, go to your favorite browser. I'm gonna go to Chrome and open chat GPT and here uh, give a prompt. Try to be as specific as possible. Mention what you want in the software so it will give you the code. In my case I have already prepared my prompt because I don't want to make this video lengthy. So I'm gonna go copy my prompt from here and paste it in the chat gpt i have written create a simple to-do list web app using html css and javascript the app should allow user to add a task mark them as complete with an undo option edit task and delete task individually or delete all the tasks with a double confirmation now i'm gonna hit enter and it will start generating the codes for me as per my request see as you can see here it has already given us the code so all we need to do is copy it and go to new tab on the browser and and type github on the github.com you can sign in here if you already have the account with the github otherwise you can sign up as well i already got the account so i'm gonna sign in once you are signed in you can see this type of interface here all you need to do is click on new repository here after that under repository name type to do list software after that uh, select public here for now and then click on create repository once that is done go to here uh, on creating a new file click on it then here on the top type index.html after that go down here and paste the command you have just copied from chat gpt once you paste it just click on commit changes click on commit changes again after that go to settings click on pages here under branch select the drop down menu and select main and make this one root and save it after that go on the top and click on actions and here you can see your software is being generated once this orange dot changes into the green tick your software is ready to go just keep refreshing here until this changes to the green tick now you can see it has turned into green go to settings again here go to pages and here you can see your software link is live just click on that link and it will open your software see this is the software that gpt has created exactly what i requested i can add a task in here for example assignment click on add go to work click add shopping add here you can see there is complete edit and delete option as well there is a delete all action as well so if you want to delete any task you can just click on delete it will ask for confirmation and click on ok after that it will get deleted and if you want to mark some task complete then just click on complete after that you can see your completed task is crossed or if you want to revert back just click on undo uh, it will revert back the task you can always edit it as well from here edit the name also if you want to delete all the task and uh, start fresh then you can do as well from this uh, delete all task option and click on ok and it will all get deleted this is how you create your software if you want more functionality here you can also make changes in here again for example i want add photo and the deadline for the task here as well for that i just need to go to chat gpt i can just give a prompt again please add deadline and upload email option as well and type this here and hit enter it will edit the code for you and add those functionalities here you can see on live it is editing the code and now it is completed so i just need to copy this from here and go back to github again on the github go to code option here on the top and click on this index.html on this window click on this edit icon after that press ctrl a on keyboard to select everything and click on delete to delete it now paste the new command again after that click on commit changes 
click on commit changes again then go to action star and here you can see it is updating your software keep refreshing until it is turned green once it is ready go to settings again go to pages and click on this link again just uh, refresh for a couple of time because it might show the software from earlier version as well sometimes so keep refreshing until it is changed to the updated version here you can see uh, after i refresh here it changed to the new version of the to-do list as i requested it has added uh, a deadline option and choose a file option so let me do go to work i just put deadline random deadline here maybe 16th of march here i can upload an uh, image as well for a reference so just click on choose file and upload of image that is relevant to your task here i can see image has been uploaded after that click on add task see the, the task has been created so this is how we can change the functionality of software as well if we are not satisfied with the one already created guys now let me show you how to create a game as well using uh, chat gpt and github for that go to chat gpt again and give a prompt here uh, whatever you want on the game so i have prepared my prompt already so i'm just gonna copy and paste my prompt from here pasted my prompt here I have asked the chat GPT to create a um, catch a falling star by a frog game. So it is creating the command for me now. Here you can see code generation has been completed. Now the step is same like last time. You, all you need to do is copy this uh, code from here and go to GitHub again and go to home. Here click on new and here give a name for the game. I write frog. After that, select on public and click on create. Now go to here. Again, type index.html and down here, paste the new code. Click on commit changes. Click on commit changes again. Now go to settings. Go to pages. Here, choose main and choose root here and click on save. After that, go to action tab up here and wait until this is turned into green tick okay i can see it is green ticked now i'm gonna go to settings again here go to pages and uh, click on this um, link and just refresh for a couple of time and here you can see simple game has been created you can play with the left and right arrow key on the keyboard if you want any changes on this for example, I want to make an actual frog jumping for actual falling stars. So if you want to do like this, what you can do is go to chat GPT again and give a prompt here. Type make a frog look real and falling stars look real as well. Also mention when the star approaches the frog, make the frog jump also make a star go inside frog's mouth and hit enter it will generate the code again now as you can see the code has been updated as per my request here i think we are required to upload the image of frog and star to make it real again type i will upload frog image as frog.png and star image as star.png hit enter let's wait until the code is complete now it has completed the code okay um now all we need to do is uh, generate a realistic looking frog image and star image using chat gpt as well so i'm gonna type g-e-n-e-r-e-t generate realistic looking frog and star image for my game so after that it will generate the images for me all right so it has been generated so all i need to do is download them and name it as frog hit enter same with star name as star once you download it uh go to the downloaded location and open those files again using your image opener on the windows here all you need to do is save the file again but while you are saving just change the file format to png and make sure the name is frog save it same like uh, star as well Control s and change to png 
and uh, name is star save it once this is done now we go back to chat gpt again on the chat gpt we copy this uh, updated code from here and then go to github again on the github page we go to code and we click on this index.html here we click on edit and now we select all by doing ctrl a on keyboard we delete this and then we do ctrl v to paste the updated command after that we do commit changes after this click on code again here uh, go to add file and click on upload files and click on choose your file and upload these uh, star and frog png and click on commit changes after that go to action tab keep refreshing until this turn into green tick okay now it has changed into green so i'm gonna go to settings again go to pages and go to this uh, link after that refresh the link for a while as you can see here the frog has been uploaded uh, and then i can see when the star approaches the frog jumped to it the star so this is how we make a modification this is just the example guys you can make any modification you want if you are creative enough you can create really complex games as well so that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video guys whatever is tips i have shown in this video today is just a simple one if you want to be really creative with it then i'm pretty sure you can create really complex softwares and really good games using this method please like my video and subscribe my channel for more videos like this in future thank you so much